Hi YouTubers, this is Superman G coming back at you one more again. And I wanted to do a re-edited version of cloning the second NVMe drive on a video I did back in 2019. Now that I have a program like Screen Record, I don't have to rely on my video camera to try to catch the images or the steps that it took uh, to perform how to clone a second NVMe drive. So with that, I'm going to go into showing you how to do that. Now, I don't have the original video where I actually filmed me installing the drive. So this will be as if you have already installed the second NVMe drive inside your computer. And it still will be different depending on the motherboard you have on your computer. But it's still relatively the same where you... Um, you take out the covering if there is a thermal cover for the NVMe drive, place the NVMe drive inside, uh, lock it down, place the thermal cover back on it, and turn your computer on after you've connected all the connections to it. So not too difficult, pretty much simplistic. Once you've installed the drive and turned the computer back on, you may have to go into the BIOS and make sure this recognized in the BIOS. You have to check your motherboard's manual to find out how to get into your BIOS or which key you have to press to get in there. Uh, once you get back into Windows, uh, back at your desktop, you are going to have to start up the program called Disk Management. And once you bring up Disk Management, it should tell you that there's a new disk that has been detected and uh, you're gonna click OK or next to whatever the, uh, the step is and then you're gonna look for the disk in this case this is actually the uh, crucial disk NVMe drive that I have and uh, so once you get here you're going to collect you're going to right click on this unallocated space and you're gonna select new simple volume and this will welcome you to the new simple volume wizard that comes up and you're gonna click next this is gonna specify the volume size you're gonna leave everything the way it is and click next here you can select a different drive letter if you choose to I'm gonna leave it to drive F click next this is the format partition. The file system is NTFS. Allocation unit size default. You can give this a volume name or label if you want. In this case, I'm going to call it the crucial uh, caps crucial 500 GB. And you want to make sure that it's set to perform a quick format. If you don't, you're going to be waiting a pretty long time. You're going to click next. This is a summary of all the settings that you have just given it. And once you're done, click finish. It's formatting it. And it is now completed. So now your drive is ready. You want to make sure that the drive is actually available. You're going to click on this PC. Here's the drive. And you can click on it. This folder is empty. Of course, there's nothing on it. Or you can right click on it, click on properties, and it'll show you a graph of how much used space, which we really haven't used, and then free space that is available to you. You want to uncheck this box. This will give you more space on the hard drive. You don't have to have this checked. Click apply. It'll give you this confirm changes. Click OK. And click OK. And that's it. Now you are ready to use your drive. However, now you have to clone the information from what drive you wanted to clone the information from to this drive. So if you have a Cronus true image, which I do have, you're going to start it up. And when this interface comes up, you're going to go over to the left and you're going to click on tools. In the tools section, you're going to click on clone disk. Your clone disk wizard window will come up. You want to choose automatic as your clone mode. 
click next select the source drive hard disk from the list below so this is the actual drive that you want to clone the information or move the information from so whichever drive or disk that you want to copy the information from this is where you would select it so in this case say for an example I wanted to copy my information from the Samsung NVMe drive so I would choose that highlight it and click next and the Cronus is now going to look for drives that you can clone or move the information to in this case this is my four terabyte Western Digital SATA drive that is detected and it's also detected the crucial 500 gigabyte NVMe drive so it's the crucial that I want to clone to so I will hit next it's going to give you this warning about the destination hard drive you have chosen contain some partitions that can contain useful data click OK to confirm deletion of all partitions on the destination hard disk drive you're going to click OK you have to make sure that if you have anything on that drive that it is completely off because once it clones or once it starts it's going to format everything on that drive everything on there will be wiped clean and you won't be able to cover it, recover any of that information so make sure that before you start you back up any and all information on that drive now I won't be doing this as an example or anything like that I'm just showing you what you will see when you go through this uh, steps so at this point the reason why you're seeing this green is because there's more information on my Samsung one terabyte that has to be moved versus where it's going to so in this case my Samsung NVMe drive is one terabyte but my crucial drive is only 500 gigabytes now that doesn't mean that Acronis won't move it what it means is that if I have 200 gigabytes of information on my Samsung one terabyte drive and I want to move it to a 500 or my crucial 500 terabyte drive gigabyte drive I'm sorry 500 gigabyte drive it will move it however if the amount on the one terabyte drive exceeds my 500 gigabytes then Acronis won't do it. it no program will do that so I'm gonna cancel out of this but I just want to show you where you can get to or how you go about cloning the drive in the program so I hope this helps you guys out and give you a a really good understanding of how it's not really difficult to clone one drive uh, to another uh, it's just a lot of steps but it's not hard and when you have the necessary programs in place to help you out so you all take care be safe and peace out.